All right. Welcome back. Uh, so these are login rewards. You get these every day, uh, and I happen to roll one that is like a three-way choice uh, today for different values of credits, and I get 2,500. Uh, so uh, those login rewards are important because as you keep logging in day after day, um, you get to certain milestones. Every 50 is a different milestone. Uh, and usually, uh, like 50, 150, 250, those days are usually uh, sigils, catalysts, boosters, things like that. Uh, and then at each 100 day, it is either a prime mod uh, or a special weapon that you can only get through the login reward. Uh, so, yeah, figured I would just go over that real quick while we're logging in. Uh, but, headed down here, one of my login rewards was the Typido, which is actually very, very nice for me. Um, because Taipido is a very good weapon to build towards because it requires a bow, which I should level, and kunai, which I also should level. So, level both of those, turn them into the Taipido, which is an outstanding weapon, and then I can turn the Taipido into the Legion further down the line, um, which is an alright weapon. Uh, needs some kind of specific mods to really get going, but eh, it's fine. Uh, also from Login Rewards, I got an Ash Blueprint, which is probably not going to see a lot of use for quite a while, because I'll get Ash probably kind of late, unless I get outstandingly lucky. Um, and then, besides that, uh, I joined my clan, which uh, we'll go over after this has been built, but I didn't want to build the clan key uh, until it was recording. Uh, so, whenever you join a clan, you get a clan key, the blueprint is automatically added to your inventory, uh, and then it is Amorphic, Ferrite, and Polymer Bundles. Don't really worry too much about the requirements, these are all super, super common materials. Um, yeah, I just want to get into the clan so I can access the clan tech, which is a huge bulk of the weapons you're probably going to want to be building slash using, and there are Warframes you can access from here, which is all things that you want. Uh, so I'll be building the clan key. Uh, and then otherwise, getting this as a login reward incentivizes me to go and build the bow and the kunai uh, after I have leveled my other starter stuff. Um, but, back to what we were doing before, uh, I need to get through this. Uh, well, the Mars Junction and before that, the Venus Junction. Uh, so, to do this as fast as possible, I need to level my Warframe up more so I can apply more mods to him. Uh, and then I also need to, please appear, uh, defeat three Eximus enemies on Earth. So, a place where it should be relatively easy to do both of those things uh, should be Spy. So, I'm fairly certain that Eximus can spawn on Cambria. I'm not 100% certain on that, um, but I'm pretty sure that you can get Eximus spawns on Cambria, and Spy is a really good way to get a lot of early game mods from doing the vaults. Uh, and the Spy Vaults themselves give a good chunk of experience, so this is also a decent way to level uh, as long as you are willing to learn the Vaults, as it were. So we're going to go through some of those, uh, and it should be pretty easy and fast, uh, and not a huge deal. Also from this, you can get a lot of your starter relics, which you're going to use for a lot of the later... Um, later planet gates god what are they called they just i was just looking at uh, those gates we were just looking at um, those you will need uh, some relics for and you can get all kinds of things you need from this lots of the like most essential mods in the game all kinds of good stuff uh so we are just going to be headed through these vaults getting all that stuff if we see an Xmas, making sure to kill it uh, and then otherwise just kind of doing this as fast as possible because the experience that we get from these guys is kind of trivial compared to what you will get from uh, doing the vaults themselves, especially if you do it without being detected, which don't, like, if it doesn't really super matter uh, if you um, are getting detected right off the bat. If you trigger the alarms now, the enemy will start destroying data. This one, you just gotta hack. Alarms. Data destruction is imminent. You need to hurry. We're on the sensors now. And I got detected there because that guy saw me on my way to do that. Not a big deal though, because I can just head and even hack this. Oops. Oops. Hack that. And a nice little 
item and chunk of experience. You get significantly more for doing that without being seen, but honestly, at the beginning here, I'm more worried about just getting some good mods from this. Also, I probably should have grabbed that Rubida formation that I just passed because that is part of the Mars Junction is to get a bunch of Rubido from Earth. You're nearing the console. Also worth noting that if you have an alarm outside the vault, that doesn't carry into the vault. Is this the one that... Oh, no, it doesn't go... Oh, never mind. I'm thinking of a thing on Uranus. There we go. Uh, okay, so this one... So the old way you had to do this was you went around the outside, but if you know what you're doing... Just kind of skip all that. I believe is right around back here. Or this is the secret zone. Okay, no. That's the secret loot. I think there's one path up here that just leads straight down into a drop down, if I'm not mistaken. Could be totally mistaken. Oh no, you just drop down for burden. Never mind. It was backwards. They give a different one. There we go. Yeah, you can see for that getting like 4,000 for uh, undetected, which is much better. Uh, it's also worth noting that if you were to activate an alarm on all three vaults, the mission will turn into an exterminate. Uh, so you'll have to kill everyone if you set off all three alarms. So this early in the game, it's really not a big deal. They'll usually give you like 18 enemies you need to kill or something, uh, which is totally trivial. And also, you need to kill them anyway. Uh, well, you should kill them if you need to, because you need to, first of all. And second of all, like, the experience isn't wasted on you. You're nearing the console. Trigger the alarms now, and they will start destroying the data. Oh, good, this one. Is Those ones always freak me out whether or not they're activated. There we go. This is the one with the drop down that I was thinking. There we are. Data extracted. They won't even know it's gone. We have right. everything we came for. Get to extraction. Uh, also, that little thing that is attached to me, next time I'll let it sit on me a little bit more. Uh, those are rollers. You need to roll, as it were, uh, to get them off of you. But they make that little pinging noise. Uh, seekers roll them out. They are just little tiny grenade rollers that'll chase you. All right, that's the end of the spy. Let's see what we Great get. I am pleased with your performance. Uh, Lith Relic, AD Endo, and Serration, which is outstanding. So this is one of the essential mods I was talking about. This is just raw damage increases for your rifles, which is outstanding. In fact, we got just all things that are outstanding for us. Uh, the Lith Relic will be very useful. The endo, we need that too, and the serration, just good things all around there. Uh, so, I think we can toss that into our Braton. Yep. Okay, so there we go. That's a little 15% damage boost. Uh, although, got that 80 endo, so now I have a little over 400, so I'm probably gonna want to. Make that awesome. Bump it up to 45% for now. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay. There we go. Okay, so... Now, we're over 50k. So, we're gonna get... The Lex. The Lex is a pocket cannon, as I've said before. And it's incredibly good. So we're gonna grab that right now, and that is going to replace our Mark I Kunai... Uh, because it is just an outstanding secondary weapon. Uh, but, worth noting, do not sell your Mark I Kunai until you have leveled them to 30, because you will regret it later if you do not do that. So we're going to switch to the Lex, uh, because I want the extra punch, as it were, right now. Uh, and then later on, whenever I have my other weapons that I'm more comfortable with, I will go back and level the Kunai and then sell those off. 
Uh, it's also worth noting that I have the Mark 1 bow and I have the Mark 1 kunai. Those can unfortunately not be made into the Taipado. You need the you normal versions of those to do that. Uh, so, now, for the purposes of... One second. Need to be a Mark II for that. Uh, for the purposes of time, I'm going to farm a bunch of spy and probably take some screenshots of stuff. Uh, and then otherwise, I'll see you when I get back from farming for a while. By the way. Um, dropping fury and just leveling pressure point. How much does this cost to max? 310? Ah, oh, it's 15k though. Gotta get to MR2. Gotta. Gotta get to MR2. Oop. All right, our, our tools shape us. Yes. All right, so there we go. Uh, our tools shape us. Uh, that's the requirement for getting through. I just threw in some cracked mods and some bullshit mods that suck. Uh, and now we'll switch back to things that are actually fine. Well put together, operator. Now get out there and... Cut that down should the... have completed that requirement. Yep. Okay, so now I only need to find two more Xmas and murder their shit super hard. Uh, so, to do that, uh, I'm gonna go to where they will absolutely be, and we're... Okay, so, hello. So, we did the thing for put, applying four mods to a single Warframe weapon, uh, and I'm doing the Eximus thing right now. It appears as though Eurasia always spawns at least one Eximus at the uh, mobile defense spots, so... This is the place to get that thing done because no one will stay for any length of time in excavation or defense this early on in the star chart. And I had for some reason forgotten that people mission. will not do long missions. You must deliver payloads and defend a number of locations so yeah, while I break this into is, the This is the way to go. Be prepared for heavy resistance. I can't do this without you. Uh, also, hey, while we're here, uh, it's worth noting that uh, I got Exalted Blade, finally. Uh, so, ooh, we so, be going over what that does. That's what Exalted Blade does. It's incredibly powerful. Uh, this scales off your power strength of your Warframe, uh, which we don't have any mods for that yet. Uh, but it also scales off all of the mods, uh, not all, not all of the mods that can go, all of the basic mods for your melee weapon. So, this has two ways to get more powerful, uh, and this is it at face value. This will also get stronger just by Excalibur himself leveling up. Uh, you get the first level of this ability uh, at 10, and I'm at 11 now. Uh, and you get the final power-up for Exalted Blade at level 30. 29 and 30 are the next rank-ups for this thing. So... Yeah. It's an incredibly powerful ability. It is Excalibur's bread and butter. It is going to be used quite a lot here. Uh, I'm going to get a lot of use out of that ability, as it is... It's, it's good for a lot of different things. Very versatile, murdering device. Also, that was my challenge. Get 30 kills. Very easy. You also, as I'm doing there, kind of want to make sure uh, you're doing those challenges because, like, the extra 5,000 really does help out a lot. That's basically, basically, whenever I was doing spy, that was an extra spy ball, which is pretty good. Also, whenever you get um, Exalted Blade, uh, picking up energy orbs becomes significantly more important, uh, which means... Uh, which means that our next goal is going to be to build a sentinel, but we will talk about that when we get to that bridge. You are because that will be a little while. Oh. Location reached. Very deposits Drop are hardy. And defend our position. Also, those deposits are pretty decent. There's that Eximus. Always an Arctic one. Fuck you. There we go. That's the last one we need. 
Um, yeah, it, seems, it appears to always appear here on one of the mobile defense targets. Oh, I think it's always been the second one for me. But yeah, this is the place to fucking go for that. Oh shit, I ran out of energy. I was trying to swing and I was like, why is it not doing it? Oh, we got Hellfire. I think, wait, is that, is that all of those elements? Oh, no, 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 I don't have coal. Yeah, that's a, a good mix. We'll go over, uh, after this mission, uh, I will go over all the stuff that I have since picked up. Take a look at my mod collection as it as right now. I think all of you guys. Also worth noting, once you can actually use your abilities more than just a tiny, tiny little bit like I am right now, um, the combination of Exalted Blade plus uh, your Radial Blind is devastating, to say the least. Also, I saw some people in the comments uh, asking why I don't really like go for headshots. Um, the reason being for that is that I normally use a shotgun. Like, my normal mainstay primary is a shotgun, which means that center mass is usually where I'm aiming. Uh, like, center upper mass. I'm trying to hit with all of my... Let's do it. Yeah, so anyone that was wondering why I don't go directly for headshots, it's because rifles are not usually my jam. Also, that was only two, not three. I forgot mobile defenses could even be only two. Now we're gonna get out of here. And we have that Xmas done, and we can do the um the solar rail. And then I get to see if uh what I theorized was correct. So yeah, let's let's go check that out. Mission complete. <laughs> I hope it's correct. Hey, a neurode also didn't even realize I picked that up. Very good. That's done now. Uh, okay, so before we go into this, I'm gonna go in here. These are all of the mods that I have recently acquired. So new ones, very new ones. Um, Hellfire, mainstay, eat damage. Very good. Mainstay here, electricity damage, both for rifle, outstanding. Uh, Blunderbuss is not useful really on any shotgun, unfortunately. There's one minor exception, but it kind of has a replacement also. Uh, I got Fever Strike, which is the toxin for melee, which is very good. Uh, mag capacity doesn't, like, you, a lot of these are mods that you can throw into things, but I'm just going to, like, point out which ones are the very important ones, such as Serration, which is, we said, huge, because Serration is really good. Um, you can see here that I already have one that is um, at 45%, so whenever you have that, you can just take that uh, and then dissolve that into endo. Uh, alternatively, though, if you find yourself short on credits, and we won't find ourselves short on credits for much longer, rest assured, uh, you can sell mods. I would suggest turning them into endo because you're going to need the endo. Uh, but with that being said, uh, I'm not going to turn any more into endo just yet. Uh, unless we absolutely need it, you have to sell mods, which we might because be on this Mark 1 bow, I want to level this yeah. pressure point up because pressure point is going to directly increase the damage of my Exalted Blade, which is very good. Uh, I don't have the credits for that, so I'm just going to do up to rank 4, which will be 100% extra damage, which is pretty good, as you might imagine. Going from that, it's a, another 80%. Or a pressure point, which means that just my quick melee with my bow is much better, and also that Exalted Blade is much stronger. Uh, so that's fantastic. Uh, on my Lex, I think I can fit. Oh. Yeah. I don't really want heat damage, but that's fine. Just the 15% is fine for now. Lex really isn't at a level where. Uh, I'm really throwing special mods or anything. Uh, and then my Breton, I think I can fit one more. Yeah, I can fit Hellfire into this now. Uh, and that should be, actually wait, no, Stormbringer. There we go. Electricity damage. There we go. 
Uh, okay, so now that we've got that set away, let's do Everything our first junction. Orders, so, theory me, high. and there is not really a good way to test this, uh, theory me that is uh, these first couple junctions are going to be absolutely no problem because I have an exalted blade. Uh, also, that's going to give me North Wind for my melee. Awesome. That's also Stormbringer, which I already have, unfortunately, so whatever. 500 salvage, which is nice, and then it's 2,500 credits. Okay, some, some minor rewards. Okay, so we're going to head into here. This is, like, a mini boss, kind of? Some of them are harder than some actual bosses, in my opinion, um, but this is a relay. We need to turn this on. Unfortunately, it has a guardian. And its guardian is an enemy war friend. And it's Rhino. Which makes this... Like, let's put it this way. If this was the encounter at... Eptune? This would be very hard for a lot of players. But, it should be easy for us. Because he's got Iron Skin, but we have an Exalted Blade. Exalted Blade beats Iron Skin. So, let's turn this baby on. Oh, it's been a long time since I've seen that. Looks really nice. All right. So we got North Wind, Furious Blueprint, which we can use that and level that, uh, and some Salvage. All right. So I'll probably build and level that Furious at some point, but now we are on Venus. Venus is very important uh, because Venus has many things that I need. Uh, namely, this is where you can farm Rhino. Uh, he comes from. Um, oh, you can't preview it. Actually, didn't know that. These have, these I have never seen these totally incomplete. Uh, so you can't preview the missions, but Fossa, uh, if I'm remembering the boss node correctly, uh, is where we will fight Jackal. Uh, so moving over there is going to be our prime directive, as it were. And this is the first time you fight Corpus, I believe, which are the third faction, as you fight. Well, you can fight the Infested up top. So anyway, these are the Corpus. Uh, so let's go. I need to get through here.